Hey everybody, it's Jennifer and Allison and we're AJ and Co. Thanks for joining us today. We've got some fun crafts for you today that are lemon themed. So if you like these videos, we suggest that you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how to paint out a lemon slice because we used it on our garland and now we're going to show you we're actually going to attach it to one of these little houses that we're going to make on this little greenhouse and the white house for our tiered tray. So super simple. Um, that one was already painted out, but I'm going to show you. This was just a wood slice, like Jennifer said, um, from a tree branch that we was salvaged from a neighbor, yeah. and we cut it down and was perfect size. Size. So we're going to paint out our lemon slice. Um, again, this is paint that we got from Walmart. Just this apple barrel paint. And so I went ahead and painted it out. You can go all the way to the edges if you wanted, but I kind of left that, kind of made it look like a little bit of a lemon skin up against our green house. And I'm gonna show you, super simple to make your little lemon. And we're only gonna paint one side of this because the other side is gonna be on our house. So we're just gonna basically go a thin white line around the edge. Uh, if you're not as comfortable with a paintbrush, get a paint marker. That will be your best friend because you can do a, a little smoother lines with the paint markers. Too cute. Alright, so we have our little greenhouse and you're gonna we're gonna wrap some twine around it and then we're gonna put our lemon on it. So Allison can go ahead and wrap it. We'll give this just a second to dry. It should not take long at all. Alright, so again we got our jute. Jute is our best friend. Yes. We use it a lot. I'm sure you guys do as well if you do any kind of crafting at home. Just hold it down. It's good to have some help. That's right. All right. So then we got that. And we probably will just push this up a little bit. And I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this all the way off. I'm going to leave some on there. We'll wait once we get our little lemon slice on there and see what we think. Maybe I'm going to make a little bow or something yep. like that. There you go. <clears throat> so we're just going to do our little lemon slice. You can do it in the middle of your house. You could kind of do it over in the corner. I don't know which one you like. You could drill a hole and hang it from the jute if yeah, that's what you, you really could. want. Yeah, you could. Really just your preference again of what you think. I'm not sure which way I like it better. I don't know. You could even put it on your jute. You could put it on the jute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and like just hot glue it on, on there. If I do that, I'll have to make sure it slides a little flatter. I was going to say, if you wanted to, make sure your knot's in the middle and kind of put it at the top and it would look like the... Give the impression that it's kind of the stem for the lemon yeah, kind of like thing. Even, you could even do it like that if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do it like that. Just on. But if you don't like it, the great thing about glue, yep, rip you it can off. just take it back off. I do want to make sure it's kind of centered on my house, so if I'm going to put it in the middle. All right. So there's one of our little houses right there. Super simple. Um, these houses were made from a piece of wood that we got from Lowe's for uh, five dollars i think so and we were able to make i want to say eight or ten houses oh, lots of houses piece. of yes. assorted sizes yes so we're going to show you later once we put that all together all right, i'm going to let jennifer show you how to do the second house the second one is just another house same size as the green one we painted it out with some white paint and it actually had something else on it that's why it looks kind of ratty here but that's okay because i've got a piece of cardstock and what I've done, you can see where a piece is missing. I've just laid out my house and traced it out. And then I'm gonna cover it with this cute little lemon and lime paper. So I'm gonna get a piece of board to kind of mask my surface. And I'm gonna use spray adhesive today. 
Sometimes we use the decoupage, but I don't know. I think with the cardstock, sometimes the spray piece is better. So I'm just going to spray it on. I'm going to pick it up and get incredibly sticky fingers. I'm just going to put it over my house. That's a great way to transform a project that you already have. You just want to pull the paper off and put some new paper on it, and you'll never know that it was something else when you're finished with it. Set that to the side. There's the little house, and it kind of sticks over the edge a little bit, and I think I might just leave it that way. It kind of makes it look a little more even. Um, I cut these houses, and as you, if you look too close, you'll tell. I didn't really do a great job, but again, the eye fills it in, so. I thought it would be cute if I took some of the um, twine and wrapped it around. So like Allison says, we love our twine here. I don't know about where you live, but here, twine is king. I gotta wrap it around a couple of times. I guess maybe three times. Just get a good start and pull it. I don't usually cut my piece ahead of time because I am really good at cutting it too short. So I usually just leave it on the spool and cut it when I'm done. But you could use ribbon if you wanted. You could use anything. Okay. I actually had another piece of paper um, that I had done that was a different paper and instead of using the twine on that one, I actually took a piece of contrasting paper and laid it across where this twine is on this. So there's that. And then I made this cute little embellishment. I took some smaller twine and made a little bow. And these are actually stickers. And I thought, you know, I may want them on another project at another time. So what I did, I pulled them off of the sticker sheet they were on. And I put a piece of the acetate that the sticker sheet was inside of on the back. So I can actually take them off of that and use them again on another project. I'm just going to put a touch of hot glue right here. Where that knot already is. And I'm going to put my little bow on there. There you go, like two minutes. Another little house. Another little, house. little set of houses. All right, so one more thing we're going to make for our tiered tray. Um, this was actually from Dollar General again. I, I'm always telling you I love Dollar General. This was an Easter decoration. These cute little tags are everywhere, but this was only a dollar. And so what I thought was, well, I want to change it and I can use it for something else. So I took some of the beads that we had already painted and replace them with the beads that were on there. The beads that were on there were kind of this blue and green. It didn't go with our theme. So we went ahead and took those off, put some new beads on there, and then we um, used Jennifer's Cricut to make some letters. And you see these letters all the time everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then again, we took the paper and we cut out a little lemon from one of the papers that we can use as an embellishment on there. So I'll go ahead and put this on here. And if you've watched any of our other videos, we do a lot of vinyl decals and things like that. And I realize not everyone has that. If you have good handwriting, write it on there with a the black Sharpie. I just, I'm not very good at that. And I'm blessed that my husband bought me a Cricut, so. Before, um, if I can't get Jennifer to write something out and do it for me on the decals, I'm always using my black Sharpie. Mm -hmm. So don't feel bad if you have to do that. Yep. You gotta work with what you have. I wish I could do that. I am just not gifted that way. A little too um, obsessive. It would have to be absolutely 100% perfect, which you know is never going to happen. So this is a better option for me. But I just really think you, reusing things that you already have and making it into something else when you want to change your decorations instead of having all new decorations every single time is a great way to um, save money and also to kind of get those creative juices flowing. Okay, I'm gonna use my handy little ball. Can't say enough about that. And just roll this on. And then I'll just peel that transfer paper away. And again, all this is is something I cut on my Cricut. I took a piece of clear contact paper and um, put it over the top of it to use as a piece of transfer. A whole lot less expensive to buy clear contact paper than to buy the name brand stuff that they sell that's the same thing. I don't feel so bad if I mess up with this and I have to redo it, but if I was paying a lot of money for that other stuff, I might not be as happy with myself if I messed it up. I lost my lemon. It was hiding. No, it didn't want to get squeezed today. A little dot of glue. Get that cute little lemon on there. Okay, there you go. Boop. So cute. 
That's some hot glue, people. All right, there you go. We're so glad you guys came today. We hope you enjoyed our lemon projects. We can't wait to do more with you. And we just hope that we brought a little sunshine with our lemons today. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. Bye.